Hi friends, welcome to the channel. If you are, oh, it's been a while. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you search for a little shrimp. The Classa, Classa, oh my God. Never drink room coffee, room coffee. A nift, nift. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time stopping by. Thank you so much for being here. You can tell today we are in a bit of a different setting. I've got the completely unfluffed, undecorated Christmas tree behind me. I just have not really had time to put a lot of effort into decorating it, although I do have some decorations in the other parts of the house. I am a little disappointed because I was planning on posting a video every weekday during Vlogmas or Always Merry. This is only the third episode of the Always Merry series though. I had an absolutely crazy week last week at work. It actually started on Sunday. It just continued on through Friday afternoon when my friend came in from Miami. I really enjoyed having her here and I really enjoyed being in Broken Bow the weekend before that, but that just meant that I was away. And although I intended to film some videos and be able to edit those during the week, I ended up working for about eight hours on Sunday. So it didn't end up happening and I was absolutely swamped all week. So here we are for the third episode. We're doing something a little more chill because it's still kind of busy for me at work. This was part of my Always Merry plan. I'm doing a reaction series to the hottest gifts. I would say this is the first of three because I also wanted to do hottest gifts of the 90s and 2000s as a bit of a comparison. But I don't know if we'll end up doing those. Hopefully I will still be able to fit those in. But today, hottest gifts of this year, 2022. Now I pulled this list from Good Housekeeping because it actually said 50 most popular gifts of 2022. I'll link this list below if you are actually interested in any of these gifts and they turn out to be pretty cool. Okay, wait, this first one is kind of neat. I want this for my office. Oh my God. It's a rechargeable hand warmer. I don't know what it is about my office. It is absolutely freezing. You can go to different floors in the office and it's warm, but for whatever reason, they have a really hard time keeping our floor warm. And this is actually really cool. Even in the summer, I wear a dress to work because it's hot as bejesus outside and it's freezing inside. So I actually kind of want this. It doesn't tell you how much it is without clicking on all of the links. So I'm not going to do that, but it's kind of cool. Okay, 100% pure mulberry silk pillowcase. Silk pillowcases are definitely becoming popular among everyone now. Um, I know that women of color have been using silk pillowcases for a really long time to protect their hair. It just became well known that it was a great option for women and men who want to keep their skin and hair looking fresh and reduce all of the frizziness and things that come with a traditional like cotton pillowcase. But if you have the opportunity, it may be nice to purchase that silk pillowcase from a business owned by a person of color just to support their brand and a tradition that was really started in that community. Here's one I don't really understand. It's the original reversible octopus plushie. It's just cute. Oh, on one side it's angry and on one side it's smiling. That's cute. I don't, I don't really get it, but okay. A mini pocket projector. That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't really know what I would use it for. Ooh, I like this. A self-heating mug. My coffee definitely gets cold at work and I do prefer a mug. So this is actually kind of cool depending on how much that is. Never drink room temperature coffee again. I like it. Of course, Uggs, they're back in style in case you didn't know. This is the classic Ultra Mini, which according to this is all over TikTok and Instagram. I actually bought some Uggs for the first time in my entire life. I own Uggs. I know, I went to high school and like middle school in absolute peak of Ugg mania and I never owned any. I do have some now. They actually are the new like clear plastic kind. So you can see through to like the Sherpa inside and they are waterproof. So I got the kind that are just clear plastic with the tan inside and it says Ugg on the outside as if you couldn't tell by the shape. I got them on sale for Black Friday. They were originally $160 and I got them for 87. And then I also got 15% back using Rakuten. 
So if you do want to use Rakuten ever, it's a great way to get cash back. You just have to click the link through the app. And right now they're doing 15% cash back at a ton of stores. So I'll link that down below. If you want to shop for any of these items, I highly recommend checking it out because if you're already going to buy something online, you may as well get a little bit of extra cash back, especially right now during the holidays when everybody is a little more concerned about money. I'll link that down below for you. And if you use my code, you can get an additional $40 cash back when you make a purchase of $40. That is just helping to support me and it helps to support you as well. A 3-in-1 charging station, that's pretty cool. That's probably something I could use. I don't really plug my Apple Watch in as much as I should. A mushroom mug. Oh, apparently mushrooms are in. I didn't know. Um, cool. Okay. Just a lid to keep your beverage warm. Nothing too special. Um, cloud slides. Wow, these are so ugly. I, I don't understand. What, what is the point of this? I guess they're all over TikTok, so I'm probably just not trendy. But they're lightweight, supportive, easy to clean, and you can wear them around the house or while running errands. Yeah, I mean, Uggs are ugly, don't get me wrong. I don't like those either. But these are also not very attractive. The Echo Dot. Well, Amazon will be excited that this made the list because their Alexa department is really struggling right now, if you know you know. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy this. I hate the Alexa. Not something I'm interested in. A car cleaning gel. Yo, wait, this is so cool. Okay, it's like a gel that you can put into all those weird little crevices in your car and it picks up all the shit that's in there. <gasps> Wait, I actually love this. This is such a good gift idea. My car is in need of a bit of a cleaning, so that's so cool. Oh, an Apple Watch, if you're getting a bougie gift. Saffron, oh, interesting. I totally thought that this was perfume. It's made from saffron. Oh, okay, I'm so dumb. I thought this was a spice. What? <laughs> It says it's made from saffron, y'all, not actually saffron, but it is the world's most expensive spice, so I guess that means something. I don't know if this works or not, but if you love skincare, this could be for you. Oh, that's cute. I wrote a book about you, and it's a fill-in-the-blank book where you can kind of like fill in all the different fill-in-the-blanks about someone and make it a little gift. That's cute. The original sleepy tie. Oh, I think this is that thing that you like wrap your hair around and it makes it curly, it like goes over your head. Also made of silk, so that's cool. I, I don't know. It says it's suitable for all hair types and textures, but let's be real, we all know that's a lie. The shape-shifting box. Uh, you can make it into a bunch of different shapes, okay. A slushy maker cup. You can refrigerate it and then you put your drink in it and shake it up and it makes it a slushy. Ooh, a magnetic knife block. That's pretty. I like that. I like those knives too. A cute crossbody bag for less than $20. Okay. I don't know what the quality is like for under $20, but you know, cute, I guess. A ceramic vase. Yeah, I definitely see this thing everywhere, so I can see why this is popular, but I don't know. It doesn't really do it for me. A novel. Okay. Oh, it's a sequel. Oh, cool. It's a romantic novel, so if you're into that, seems like a good try. The hair dryer brush. I do actually have something that's like this, I guess. I have the Dyson Airwrap. I got it on Mercari used uh, last year, and I really, really like it. Um, and it does come with like a round brush attachment that I use quite a lot to style my hair when I don't want to dry it because I haven't actually washed it. A cocktail smoking and infusion kit. Ooh, this is getting very popular. I do love that smoky flavor, and if you want to add that to your cocktails, you can do it with this little kit. To be honest, you could probably also do this without the kit. I don't know if everybody has a mini blowtorch among their small kitchen appliances. Ooh, pretty. A moon lamp. That's kind of fun. Oh my god, get out of here. It says genius way to impress teens. Get a Kodak single-use camera. They're like really expensive to get developed these days and the pictures are so bad. 14 karat gold hoop earrings. Oh, those are pretty. If you are going to get anybody some jewelry, I highly recommend the company Monica Venator. It's a really cool company that uses 100% recycled sterling silver and I think 100% recycled sterling silver and 100% recycled gold for male. Is that how you say that? Um, they also use 100% recyclable packaging, which is really cool, and they're fully carbon neutral. So if you're interested in jewelry or 
for yourself or purchasing for a loved one, I really recommend them because they ship super fast. I bought from them last year and it ships super, super fast. I really enjoyed their stuff. And they have really classic pieces and some things that are like a little more trendy, like chains and things like that. I really like them. The Always Pan. That's pretty if you know somebody who likes to cook and doesn't really have pans, but I feel like that's the thing. Unless you're like kind of a younger person or you're just getting into cooking, either you like cooking and you have everything you need or you just aren't into cooking. So I feel like you'd have to find the exact right person to buy this type of cookware for. Build your own play fort. That's cute for kids, in case you didn't want to use chairs. Oh, a little neck massager. Eh. I don't know if those things really work though. I feel like you'd have to go to a store and like try one first. Ugh, the Skims Sculpting Bodysuit. Look y'all, I am all here for you feeling your best. So if this is something you are interested in, apparently Skims is really good. And if you feel awesome in it, go for it. Oh, this is one of those like cute little day signs with the date when you like were born, when you were married, when you met, when you had your kid, whatever. That's cute. What a difference a day makes. A little letter necklace uh, you can get pretty much anywhere definitely don't think you have to purchase that from a specific place but they recommend Etsy which I appreciate a weighted eye mask oh what I don't know if I would like that like on your face huh Soothe migraines, eases anxiety, and promotes better sleep. Interesting. A backpack cooler chair. I've seen these before. That's really neat. It's a backpack, but it also is a cooler, and you can just sit on it. Outdoor sporting events, if you have like kids' soccer games or in like an adult league or something like that, you have a chair to sit on when you're not actively playing, and you have a cooler, which is perfect. Put a little water in there, put a little brewski in there, you're all set. A knit cuffed beanie from Carhartt, specifically Carhartt. This just cracks me up because it's like literal workwear that my parents have had forever and now they're trendy. Dino Dig Virtual Reality Science Kit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, it's a VR experience? What? How expensive is that? Huh. I wonder if it comes with the VR. That seems crazy. It can't be. Oh, it says VR goggles included. That's nuts. 100 movie scratch off poster. So it's like great for film buffs. That's kind of cool. A mini waffle maker. A pancake scale. I don't get it. A compact air fryer. That is cool. I love my air fryer. It really heats things up well. Keeps them crisp. I do love these. I think they're so cute. Personalized glass art with like the little song that you love or that makes you think of a specific person that's really cute oh an adventure book photo album that's cool okay sorry if i moved i had to change the battery an astrology coin necklace that just seems kind of basic like is that really the hottest gift of the year i don't know good housekeeping i am not sure you know what you're talking about Maybe I'm wrong. I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Electric wine opener. I feel like these are always popular until they break. I feel like everybody has two. Like you have the electric wine opener that's like really fancy and whatever, but then you also just have like old reliable just in case. I don't know, maybe that's just my family. We drink a lot of wine. A weighted throw blanket. I feel like it's not new to sleep with one, but I've actually been using mine kind of as a throw. Why well, reserve that super comforting feeling for just when you're sleeping? Why not have it any time of the day? A matcha whisk set. This definitely seems very like influencer, stay at home girlfriend kind of vibes. For me, it's I guess necessary to make matcha. I don't really know. <laughs> Turns out it's not that hard is what the blurb says beneath the matcha set. So I don't know. I don't know anything about matcha, but it's made from natural bamboo. So I guess that's cool. A beard trimmer, not for me, but I guess if you're a guy and you just want to grow out your beard, but you want to look clean and neat and tidy, beard trimmer is the way to go. A gemstone bracelet, similar to the Zodiac coin necklace. I'm just like, isn't this every year? Like, can't you get this for someone anytime? I, I feel like a gemstone bracelet isn't that unique, but okay. An extra thick yoga mat. We're not here for that thin shit, okay? I need to be able to put my knees down and do that cat cow without having to worry about my patella digging in. I agree, I like the extra thick yoga mat. And very last, the McBride Sisters Collection Trio. Y'all, this is so cheesy. Clearly, they were just posting the stuff that they're getting paid to post. Like, that's so specific. I mean, I have nothing wrong with, like, posting a specific brand or whatever, but it's just... Some of these lists you really have to take with a grain of salt, especially for things that are like popular now because you know that they're going to be getting some kind of a commission through the links and they probably posted somewhere on there if I went and looked for it that they're getting some kind of money through the links, but you don't really know that and that's why whenever you see things that are like 
top 10 best whatever from a magazine, you kind of have to think about where that source is coming from. And unless it's something like Consumer Reports, it's probably going to be influenced by them getting money from one, if not all, of the products that are listed on the website. So just something to think about. Those are the top 50 hottest gifts of the holiday season this year, according to Good Housekeeping, which is a source I do not know if I trust at all. But I think the next couple will be a little more fun and a little more reliable because they will be lists that were made post holiday season and they will be look backs as opposed to current trend predictions of this year. What do y'all think about these gifts? Are they trendy? Are they cool? Are they really useful? I feel like a couple of them could be pretty useful for certain people. What are you giving this holiday season? Let me know in the comments below. I'm excited to check out the hottest gifts of the 90s and 2000s. If you are too, go ahead and become a subscriber right down here and check out some of my other videos right up here. Thanks so much for watching. Always Amelia.